Hello and welcome to the Blender Barbox channel. Today we are going to see how we can generate the topography feature that you see on the screen using Google Maps and Blender. So let's go through all the steps and see what's, how we can achieve this uh, visual effect and topography effect in Blender. So to start with the process, let's first select everything and let's delete so that we can start new. I'll turn on the hotkey so that you can follow and let's go to the GIS add-on and then go to web and then base map. I'll put the description of the base map of the GIS add-on in the description section. All right. Now you can zoom in using the plus sign. To search the area that you want, you can press G. Uh, for instance, I will search for Mount Everest, where there is a large topography elevation variation. You can search anywhere in the world that you want. I'll use zoom level of 15 in this case. It will take time to load. Now it's loaded. All right. So uh, I'll be using this one. Maybe I will zoom out a little bit so that I can cover more area. The more you zoom out, the lesser will be the resolution, but uh, it will be easier to manage uh, the file also. All right, this looks uh, suitable. So to extract this, press E. Now the information is extracted to add elevation to this go to the SR team and use the marine geo now you can see elevation data has been added to the data so this is the Mount Everest mountain and its surrounding like now you can see we have uh, imported the elevation values of the topography of the surrounding area so uh, it comes with a default by with a different modifiers so go to sampling and make sure interpolation is checked and then apply the modification the modifiers because if we go to the edit tab we can see that uh, we don't have the match mesh to work with so we need to apply the modifiers to obtain the appropriate mesh so apply the modifiers now go to edit tab and here you can see we have a clean topography a clean geometry with a, with a number of uh, partitions and subdivisions and now we can work with this uh, geometry all right, so uh, I will extrude this so that uh, it's uh, good. It will be easier for uh, presentation. And if you want to use it as an steel file, you can extrude it. Maybe I'll change the bottom part to a different material property. We can select it using Alt and left click and then uh, we can assign a different material for uh, this part go to materials add a new slot the new material then i will change the color something uh, gray like color i'll use that one all right Okay, I didn't assign it, so I need to go back and uh, assign the material. Go to Edit tab and then uh, Assign. Now the material is applied. Now this is better for uh, presentation and resolution. Okay. So uh, we are done with this one. So this is 
the way you can generate 3D topography of anywhere in the world using Google Maps and Blender. So I'll just adjust some color values here. Okay, now, uh, now it looks good. It looks better, okay. So this is a way uh, you can generate uh, topographies. You can use them for various projects. Uh, so you can export it. You need uh, to adjust the rendering port also if you need to export this one. Okay. So in case uh, you want more examples, we'll be doing another one. Okay, so uh, just to do another example uh, of the same type, uh, we can repeat the same step and uh, let's start with the process. So as always, uh, start with uh, go to by going to the JS add-on, then base map. Now you can zoom in using the plus sign. So this time uh, I'll try to find something mountain area with a vegetation cover somewhere where there is some green coverage. So I'll zoom in somewhere around in this area. So I'll you can use a flatland also, but uh, for now I'm just trying to show you visually how the uh, process works. So I'll go, I'll zoom in around this place where there is mountainous area and it has green vegetation coverage. So uh, this looks uh, fine for now. So I'll to extract this one. Uh, when you are happy with it, you can press E to extract the data. Now it's extracted. All right. The next thing is to add the elevation data go to GIS with geodata then the SR team use the marine one and then OK. Now the elevation information is being added. As you can see, now the elevation information is added and we have varying topography surface that we can use. So we, we still need to add import the mesh information. So to do that, uh, the material comes with uh, its own modifiers. So if you go to edit tab, you can see we don't have mesh information yet. If you see the modifiers, we need to apply these modifiers first. So uh, always make sure that the interpolation is checked in the sampling. Then go back to the modifier and apply all the modifiers. Now, if you go to the edit mode, you can see we have the mesh data imported along with the topography value. Now we can edit and use this information as geometry as you want. You can extrude it the same way as we did earlier. And uh, we can change the bottom part with different material. Go to, to edit tab, edit mode, and then select the faces using alt left click. Then we can give it a different material type. So go to materials, add a new slot, new material. So uh, this time I'll assign it. So I'll just use maybe the white background. This looks visually uh, suitable. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. So this is a way uh, you can use to generate topography using 
Blender and Google Maps. So I hope uh, you liked today's tips and tutorials. If you liked the overall video, please make sure to like and subscribe the channel. And I'll see you next time with another Blender tutorial. Thank you for watching.